on, guys? What's going on, guys? Welcome back, and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well. We're doing all right on this end. Most importantly, we got ourselves a garage yeah. now. Yeah. So why don't you come on in, and we'll give you a little tour of what we got going on in here. With, with a sign. We kind of gave him a logo of what we were thinking of. Well, I guess before, this is our new logo. We kind of re replicated it off of the Peterbilt logo um, and incorporated the alls three and kind of had the three tie together the both the alls in the garage. Yeah, but this is pretty awesome. I mean, if you come really close, oh. you come really close in here, you see the cream color and you see the burgundy color. Those are the two colors that we're going to be painting the flat top truck. So it's really cool to incorporate those into our sign and you know our, our future plans not only for for the youtube but also our uh garage our garage yeah. in general yeah but so uh, you guys should see we got the 59 yes uh, par parked right here it's uh there's a lot pretty big shop but it's super hard to maneuver well it doesn't uh, help that you got two big yeah, poles two big beams and the garage doors on the side or the corner, so it's, it's, it was pretty difficult. Uh, we're gonna make like a 20 point turn here to get this over here, yeah. but hopefully we can uh, you know, turn it around, get the front forward. Dave, um, before you say anything more, guys, we cannot wait to put up our new chandelier in this shop. This is gonna look beautiful. We've got just the perfect spot to mount it, and you know, we're just waiting for us to hook up the power and get this in. Back to some, you know, just showing you guys the tour. So we got the Pete right there. Then we got the International. As you can see, there's, you know, a little bit of a leak. Power AKA steering. AKA the International. Yeah, so we got a power steering leak that we have to fix. Well, that um, just started when, when we were pulling it in here. You can see, you can see the line that the truck came in on. Yeah. But uh, we gotta, you know, get that fixed and get it out. Um, also, to the starter. Yeah, the starter went bad. Started up one day, then the next day it wouldn't turn over. So we had a pull started, and that was pretty fun. <laughs> um, actually, no, actually fun. Yeah. But so we got that there. Oh, we gotta fix the fix the. Oh yeah, they have fixed the hood. Yeah, this. Well, we already. Yeah, we'll, that's talk, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, we'll we'll talk. Go into the trucks all. Yeah, but we got you know all of our parts. We have that side kit. If I don't know if you guys remember, we were working on the Kemworth, and we uh, showed the side kit. We still got that, still for sale. If someone wants Somebody to buy that. Somebody come get it, man. Uh, we got you know Peterbilt rims and and brakes and and chambers and binders and just a bunch of stuff over there. A bunch of parts. Yep. Then we got a bunk over here, forty eight inch. Peterbilt flat top bunk that we went belt? to New York. New to, York? Uh, was it like eight hour drive or something for yeah. us up in the Finger Lakes? So crazy drive in the middle of a snowstorm. It got down to negative 20, getting it? Yeah. And of course our trailer <laughs> lights decided they weren't gonna work. Yeah, but so we got this, we have to take it off. So the trailer's not gonna be in here, but we'll get it off, you know, on some rollers or stands or something. We gotta start working on that. Yeah, you guys get it all cleaned up. Got, got some dents in it. Um, also in the corner up there, it's got a dent, and then replace all the handles like we did on the uh, the silver truck that we got as yeah. well, the 94P. So on this table, we've got a lot of our 3406E, the 5EK parts that came out of my grandpa's 96 Peterbilt. Um, if you remember, that was actually the truck that we put in the C15 6NZ Cat. Uh, give it a little more power, and plus we just rebuilt that motor. So, and this one needed a rebuild. So prior to pulling that motor out, we actually disassembled everything. We had Cat come out and uh, machine the top of the block and check all the cylinders, make sure those are A-OK -okay and ready to go. Mm -hmm. So we'll go get that block picked up here in the next few days, bring it to the shop, as well as 
we got another Detroit motor sitting over there that actually cracked the cylinder wall between piston one and two, um, which is, I mean, it's essentially junk. Unless you guys know, that's something we can ask them. Yeah. You know, if you know of anybody or you've seen it done where the block actually gets welded, we've never heard of welding a block, you know, if it's possible, maybe, but uh, we'll see what happens with that one. But we got that motor that we'll tear apart and at least harvest for parts because we got a few uh, Detroit motors in the trucks we run right now. So it'll be good to use that. Yeah, but you'll see the, the cat rebuild. When, when That's going to be here. a series of videos yeah. too. Yeah. Yep. And then we got the bulkhead for the uh, side kit and trailer that we got. And then just some miscellaneous. And also the stuff overhead. Over you could use, help use that oh, uh, yeah, crane kind of little thing. crane deal with the, the pull chain system on there. Yeah, a little hoist. Putting the head or something on. Yeah. Something. Especially, yeah, we got the cat motor laying right here. Yeah. But uh, that's pretty. Oh, no, no. We gotta take. We do have heat. We do have yeah. heat. It's not on right now. No, but uh, we got heat. Yeah, we still need to get our compressor over here and a whole bunch of tools, like yeah. chests and everything over here. So we also got a bathroom too. So if you know, you gotta go to the restroom. We got that. You don't have to go outside. It always is a perk. But we got a lot of stuff in here. Everything is a project that we're gonna be working on, filming. I can't wait to get all the Peter belts in here. Yeah. That's gonna be really freaking cool. We'll get the sign up on the wall. We talked about maybe painting the wall and giving them a fresh coat of paint or something, but we're not sure. It's gonna get dirty. We're gonna be painting yeah. in here, so who really knows? We work on our cars. We have a couple Mustangs and uh, my truck we work on, my turbo sitting over there. Um, so we're probably gonna be working on those. Let us know if you guys want us to film that record that so you guys could check that, that out cool we're, gonna, yeah. we're gonna be working on them here as well um so let us know if you guys want to see that working on you know mustangs trucks trucks cool stuff motorcycles <laughs> yeah we gotta put that one back together too now it's story time with ryan and dave all right so we, we've shown you guys the shop uh it is temporary hopefully um we'll, we'll get yeah we'll get you know our other place soon um, but for now, this is how it's pretty much going to be. And with the International, we got to fix the power steering leak, fix the hood, and then the starter also went bad out of nowhere. So we got to get that, and hopefully we'll get that going or, or outside. And then we need to bring the 90 flat top um, that we worked on in the first video. We made those interior panels for, and that's going to go in the middle bay over there. And then the 94, 379 silver truck that we've been recently working on. That's going to go uh, in that corner over there. Um, but I think we're going to start filming and working on that truck, the 94. Well, that was the closest to yeah, being back done, on, getting so. back on the road. And I think we're going to um, get to painting here. Been talking about it on the channel for the longest time about painting, and you know, we're going to paint this and paint that. And we're finally in a place in a situation where you know, painting is actually and, and can be done. So we've got the colors picked out for the 94. We're gonna stick with the silver, but also incorporate some, some navy blue in there as well, some dark blue in the fenders. And we talked about doing some prop panels, yeah. similar to what Grandpappy has on his truck. Yeah. Uh, maybe spray those too, blue. I, we're still trying yeah, to I think, yeah, maybe we, we gotta figure or, everything out, but- uh, We got the colors down. We got yeah, the colors so picked out. I think that's what we're gonna work on first uh, here in the shop. This is gonna be our first big project here is painting the, the truck. Yeah, we enjoyed the painting process when we painted those fenders. Yeah, but uh, after we get done with that, or you know, maybe in between, we're gonna get to work on this truck. This one is gonna be uh, a project. Yeah. Now that it's off the road, we can really take some time to focus on it. We got the interior done. There's some stu touch up stuff we gotta do in the interior, but the exterior is mainly our project. So we're gonna wheel this one out soon. Uh, once we get those other trucks taken care of, sandblast the whole frame on this truck. A lot of work. Just a lot, a of, lot work. of work. Yeah. yeah. And so if you guys want to see this truck get painted and and uh, drop panels and just a, a bunch of cool stuff done to it, because I think we're gonna this is gonna be our toy truck now. This one at the the, the ninety. I ninety flat tire. Yeah. And then so like in our in between filming for the ninety four and this truck, working on them both, we're gonna be working on the. Uh, flat top and getting that because we got to do pretty much everything on the that interior of that truck 
and exterior we're gonna make that you know looking pretty good too pretty excited about it nice to have actually be inside we got some heat in here stay tuned if you guys uh want to see the pizza get painted all right guys keep your whiskers perked because there's gonna be a new video coming out soon <laughs>